Hey everyone, Red here, and it's time for another Red's Request, and today we have the Inescapable Hooks build for Spirit. So let's go ahead and do a quick build breakdown. First, we're bringing Monstrous Shrine, which is going to grant 20% faster entity progression if I'm not within 24 meters of the Hook Survivor. Then we have Scourge Hook, Floods of Rage, whenever Survivor gets saved from a Scourge Hook, I'm gonna see the aura of all other survivors for seven seconds. Third, we're bringing in Make Your Choice. Whenever I'm 32 meters away from a hook and a survivor is saved from the hook, the person who did save them will become exposed for 60 seconds. And last but not least, we're bringing in Haunted Ground. Two trapped hex tomes are gonna spawn in the trial, and if either one of them happens to get cleansed, all survivors are going to suffer the exposed stats effect for 60 seconds. And for add-ons, we went with some very strong add-ons today with Dried Cherry Blossom, which means that survivors trigger a killer instinct when they come within 4 meters of the spirit while I'm phasing. And, of course, Mother's Daughter's Ring, which is going to increase my haunting movement speed by 40%. And scratch marks are no longer be visible, which Dry Cherry Blossom is going to help. Other than that, that is the quick build breakdown. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Now let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. Oh man, we got Mother's Dwelling for the first game. That's pretty interesting. I haven't played Spirit in quite a while, so this will be fun. Now I do have some really strong add-ons here, so I mean... I should be pretty fine in most situations unless I really horribly misplay. But let's take a quick look around. We're either on this gen to the left. No? Okay. Chances are then we're on the far corner over here. We could be in shack. I just have to make a choice. So I think we'll choose this one over here. You could argue shack though being better because it has more gens around it. Ooh, unlucky. No pal here. Oh, we do have one. Cool. That's all right. You just hold it forward. Gotta keep the killer a little honest to dropping pallets, but then again, it is spirit, so drop and run sometimes a good call. You think she draw? Oh, she does. Oh, there she is. Wow, I don't get that. That's actually really crazy. There goes haunted grounds, and it looks like we were in check, so we had it right to where they were. All right, let's go ahead and. Yeah, we'll just hook right here in the Scourge Hook. That way I can get Floods of Rage value later. And we do have Haunted Grounds now, so it might mean that people don't want to come for the save. Which means we'll get Monster Shrine value on top of it. Oh, hello. I didn't even see you there. Thank you. I'll take that. I'm kind of lagged afterwards. Oh, hey, look, we have another Scourge Hook right here. Cool. And we, it looks like we have Ace. Okay. And we have Jonah getting rid of my hooks. Where are we at? There you are. Okay. Hey, man. I didn't see Ace, so he might actually have uh, Distortion. Because I was looking for him. But maybe I just missed it barely. Hook swap, fair enough. Hi. Yeah, I see the flashlight. There we go, that works out. And since he stayed here for the flashlight save, I can just kind of go for him. Wow, unfortunate. I thought I read him right both times, but that's okay. That save him too much. We can go ahead and eat the DS now if he has it. Nope, cool. We just get another skirt chug. This is where I kind of wish I had pain res instead of monstrous shrine. But I get the idea. Yeah, I saw you up here, buddy. There you are. Okay. Hi. And there we go. That is quick down after quick down. Uh, they're just going to go for their save. That's fine. We'll go ahead and hook up, and then we can kind of go for them afterwards. And he did go stage two, so maybe Monster's trying and played a little bit of a nice part there. Though they did save the wrong person first. But that's all right. Looks like they might be trying to heal. They know they broke my hook there, but healing is really a bad call. 
Thanks, dude. I could hook him, but honestly, I think I'll try and give him another chance and go for her instead. Because we kind of have the game just in the bag right now. So let's make it a little interesting. Ooh. I had to read, but I just barely missed it. Do you get this? Oh, she didn't vault. I was hoping. We went up and around probably the hill. Okay. Oh, bounce landing. Wow. I wasn't expecting the bounce landing. Uh, yeah, everyone's separating. We can just kind of go for him and put him away then. If she didn't bounce landing, I would have went for her down turn and then swapped the hook, but this works. Let's see if we can play off this. Oh, good blind. Oh, he's going to get to that pallet. Oh, he walked through me. I'm assuming. That was a little awkward. The Blossom can sometimes definitely throw you off a little bit. But now you don't really get anywhere, my dude. Because I think it's just dead zone central over here. It was still a good little run, though. Especially for the add-ons I'm running. Oh, there we are. Okay. Took me a minute to find somebody. It's such a big map, too. Hi. There we go. We don't have anyone over here on these gens, so they most likely had grouped up on the gen over there by the hook. Oh, I see someone up there. Ooh. But I kind of want to go for the make your choice. Yeah, that's all right. We'll go for the make your choice, or at least try. Who's running over here? It's crows came up. Oh, wasn't really exactly what I was hoping for, but... Oh, nice double back. Alright. Hello. And we kind of just walk her down. I was really hoping to find the, uh... The Jonah or Ace there, but just didn't happen. Really unlucky. She drops. Thank you. And your game is done. Oh, there we are. These guys went into, like, Omega Stealth for the longest time. He double back. Oh, I think I heard him going outside and around. Okay, that makes sense. Killer Instinct threw me off just a little bit there. Yeah, these guys were stealthed up for like three minutes, man. It was crazy. But now we get to go ahead and put this game in our win. And then we'll look to see if we can find the last survivor. Oh, there we are. Took him a long enough time to come uh, show himself. He was waiting to the very last second to go for it. Right here in the corner? Yeah. Hi, buddy. Uh, no. All right. Dead Dog Saloon. Let's go. This should be a very solid map for us to play on, for sure. We can go ahead and face. You can get anyone real quick. Are we up here? No. How about corner over here? Oh, we are. He tried ducking. <laughs> he just wasn't able to hide in time. Hey, man. Thanks. Where are we going? No one else was there. Okay. Someone else ran inside. Most likely going upstairs. And let's go ahead and just go ahead and phase. Maybe we trick him. Ooh, I tried. He did dead hard right there too. Fair enough. Let's go for maybe a mind game. There we go. Thanks, man. All right, do you think we went upstairs? That's the question. I shouldn't say, did we go, but we stay. I hear something. Are we down here? Yeah, cool. Ooh, so close. Let's try and stop her from getting to the one strong pallet. And can I play around this? 
I can. Oh, there we are. Cool. Uh, of course we'll go for Ace here. Why not? Oh, there we are. Nice. Oh, darn. I was hopeful. It looks like she is killing herself on hook. Unfortunately, I've been playing... I've played this build now about 10 games. And, like, nine of those games, I'll say, like, the first one, have just been, like, people DCing, killing themselves on hook right away. People just don't like going against Spirit. So, we'll, uh, we'll do one more after this. And if it's just more DCs, it, it is what it is. Not sure where she's at, but we have him over there on the gen. So let's just hold fast over here. Yeah, he stayed there, so we're looking pretty good. Yeah, I know where you can go now. He knows. Yep, and that is just game. It looks like Ace is already trying to kill himself on hook. But that's all right. I mean, that's kind of how these games tend to go. All right. Did we go for the save? We did. Cool. Nope, can't allow it. Well, I mean, I, I can, but... All right, fair enough. Let's just go ahead and hook her up real quick. He can try and get the save if he wants it. Do I get over there in time, though? Ooh, he actually killed himself on hook just in time. Hello, dude. What's going on? I'm patient. I'll wait for my power. We'll just keep our eye on him real quick. Going for vault. Has life. Okay. How you doing, man? All right. Grim Pantry. We have someone inside chat. Cool. Ooh, it's a Dwight. All right. Let's see what we got. Do you think he drops Pout right away? He does. All right. We can play around it. Oh, hey, man. Where do you think you're going? He was quiet. Does he drop? No. I'm actually surprised he vaulted. I thought he was going to fake it. Oh, he cut through? Nice. That was good. Unfortunate for me, I misread it just a little late. But that's all right. He didn't go out this way. He's going back inside. Hi. Nice try, man. Haunted Grounds is now in play. And Dwight is killing himself on hook, which is, like I said, it's just been happening all day. People just don't like going at Spirit. Oh, and he DC'd when someone came to save him. That's rough. Hi. I don't get that. Did you duck me? There you go. Cool. Let's go ahead and get her on a hook. Easy peasy. We'll go ahead and get rid of this boon real quick. Oh. There we go. Where's he going? Oh, let's just watch him for a second. Oh, he's chilling. He has no idea. What's going on, man? Yeah, I'm betting right now he's going to kill himself on hook. Like, it's just going to happen. Oh, never mind. He's going to DC instead. <laughs> oh, man. Now we just got to find out where these survivors are. Oh, wait. Here we are. Ooh, unfortunate. Wait, let's just stand here. Uh, are you okay? Did Were you not aware? Wait. Hi. Sprint Burst Gaming, I like it. Doesn't go for the vault, nice, so she fakes it. Oh, but we got her here. Hi. There we go. Not too bad, and we can just go ahead and put this game away. I'm really not in the mood for, like, farming three or four gens just to be, like, super nice. No. No. Cool. And there we go. That is the last spirit game for me today. Outside of the first game, survivors were just not having it. So, oh well, it's how it goes sometimes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed a little bit of the DCs and maybe some of the salty features. Uh, but other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. It was a lot of fun. Make sure to leave a build in the comment section down below. Much love, and as always, I'm Red, and I'm signing off.